I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. It, just, <clears throat> it just takes me a second to figure out what I'm doing. I think I had admitted him. Did you drop him? Oh, maybe. Oh, he was here and now he's gone. Yeah, and I th I'm sure I clicked admit. I'm on him, Kenny. Kenny. I've hit admit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just <laughs> I miss you, man. I haven't talked to you in days. So I like I just uh, hit admit. I can give you a hard time of giving you a hard yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> now we lost them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like seriously. Kenny, how could you? What a loser. Um, what a loser. Wait, wait, so tell me what, what brand this is. Oh, there you are. There's oh, there. Hi, there's hello. 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 Okay. How are you? I thought I hit admit and I think I hung I hung I hung up. I five. thought Kenny hung up on you and I thought I think I did that, but I didn't mean to. Kenny. How are you? All right, guys. Good. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I had some technical issue. Uh, small I one. thought it was me. I thought I hung up on you. <laughs> yeah. I'm positive I hit admit. I'm positive. Well, I was giving him a hard time. Before you came out, I was like, Kenny, you just hung up. You <laughs> hung up on him. All you had to do was hit admit. And he was like, no, I'm sure I did. And I was like, no, I think you hung up on him. So we'll just blame it on Kenny. That's kind of how we do this. Whatever. Mm. Like I care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's blame Kenny. <laughs> I don't care. Do whatever you guys want. You guys can do your own talk. If you want. I can leave now. I'll go make yeah. a cup of coffee. I got, I got other things I can do too, you know. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh my God. It is it is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, first yeah. of all, I want to say that I really, really enjoy in that uh, uh seminar which you created. And I said to Kenny, and uh, that was yeah. the very first time I'm not long in a business, so like this is the fourth year in in a food business and it, this was the very first seminar where i heard very practical thing you know when someone said you should say this not like oh you should act so now i'm imagining no 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 it was really this 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 and this and even i made um uh, uh, how to say to my partners citat i don't i'm not sure on english how you're saying but i'm quote your words today about that you should be a uh, friend with the assistant of the yeah. buyer and and yesterday i was doing that so yeah, yeah. i started immediately yeah yeah, yeah. immediately i started yes. to, to implement awesome. the knowledge because that's it <laughs> i should you know I what's should funny learn. igor you'll, you'll find is that the buyers typically change three or four times more frequently than the assistants mm. so it's good to get to know the buyers because they're obviously very mm. important to you but the it's the people behind that make sure that the boats floats and someone's rowing and all that mm. those are the most important people in the buildings and they yeah. usually stay with you know they'll go through two or three buyers uh, him or her doesn't matter what but it's yeah honestly get to know your get to know the assistants treat them well when they ask you for something make sure you get it to them quickly they're your lifeline mm. like a lot of drugs for sure man they they saved my ass all the time and mm -hmm. they were for the for the vendors like like what we are now oh my god they made it so much easier for everybody. So yeah, get to know your get to know the assistants. Good move. Thank you so much for the very very practical advice. Good move. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, so we'll today. Start. Yeah, go ahead, Phil. Go ahead. No, you do it. Do it. No, no. So yeah, <laughs> you know what it is? Because I forgot. You know what it is? I forgot the Igor's company's name. It went. I went blank. Soul Bite Food. Okay, because my story was going to be so Igor and. Uh, um, came by the house the other day to drop off samples because they're obviously on launch pad so what we're doing today is like a 15 minute um highlight igor of who you are what you guys are doing um i love some of the social enterprise you're doing behind it but just mm -hmm. a quick 15 on that but i wanted to give you guys one plug um they came by the house last week i think brought a, a closed box sample but also had eight of these uh phyllo mushroom kind of triangles made for me so they're still piping warm i had four for breakfast <laughs> i don't think that's overly healthy i'm sure it's not but i didn't really give a shit. they were so good and so tasty just wanted you to know really good so one of the things which we are proud that, that our food is healthy that's i don't even know thing. if i cared anymore <laughs> <laughs> I, really don't. I don't even know if that's important to me they tasted so bloody good i really didn't give a shit if they were going to kill me or not and so happy thank that they're you. not. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I can I can give you like a couple of minutes heads up why I'm. Who you are, what you, why you did this? Like, yeah, how did you get into this? Was, 
Uh, and when you want to score, yeah. listeners right. will listen to this right before the show. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully they'll come to Launchpad, get excited about you and the other seven people there, and uh, and hopefully hunt you down on the Thursday, Friday at the show, and they'll have some familiarity from here and Launchpad. So that's pretty much why we do this, just to give you know the eight of you a, a little you a boost. Bit of a jump down. start, right? So yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Right. So imagine. Uh, nine years ago, a uh, group of immigrants are coming um, to find uh, their new journey here and new life in Canada. Uh, we all met in uh, English school, learning not just the language, we learn also the Canadian values. We feel so good and so welcome here, especially we brought our families here and feel safe in Canada. I'm coming from Serbia, past three wars. My partner is from Iran, still, you know, they had an issue a lot and the other people. Who are executives and uh, we watched a documentary in a school about the food waste and we immediately understand that's the great way how you can contribute to local community why because you have just three basic things for the human being one is the air water and the food so if they don't have that they cannot survive so we understand how much that is important and also if you want to be valuable uh, member of the society you cannot be hungry people who are hungry they cannot work they cannot think they can so it's really complex things. So we uh, immediately step in and start to collecting day old close to best before or with some imperfection from the save on food. In that time, eight years ago, it was undercover operation. Uh, the, the top management was not aware of that. It was right. just lower management who, was, oh, who, okay. who really suffer because they saw that mountain yeah. food is going to the garbage and they know the value of the food so now we are when we are talking eight years ago they called us garbage people okay when we started this now i will just say that uh, after one month of uh, of our work two beneficiaries approach us and the first one she said oh i'm praying to god every day because now i have a decent food on my table and we know that because the difference in that moment between us and the food banks is that the food bank is working with the non-perishable and we start to working with the perishable right. so now imagine when someone is poor and getting 50 dollars steak so how he's happy or he getting the can and pasta so that's the difference and we know that we are bringing fresh nutrition value on the table of the people so that's great point and we were so happy for that but the second she told a uh, beneficiary she told us oh i saved enough money in one month to buy new shoes for my daughters oh that's something else we didn't think about circular economy we didn't think about the the money component you know you just think about the the value of the nutritious and um we understand of course that whenever you are making any product you need to use water you need to use energy you need to use time you need to use money so all of that is just standing on the landfill because of which reason and then we start to think about the reasons like uh, day old for me that's really nothing because i'm coming from another corner of the world when day old is not existing best before also not existing in europe so we don't have that so i have just expiring date i don't know what's the best taste date i don't I learned when I came in Canada, right? <laughs> right. Or with some something most Canadians don't, by the way. Yeah, Maybe they're they're not not sure. Sure. And best before. <laughs> like they don't realize there's nothing wrong with it. Best before, yeah, yeah. we don't yeah. even know best before means. I don't think anybody knows what best no. before. But, 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 I you know what? but, but I, please I mean, continue. I, I didn't. I would like to that. know that yeah. now, eight years later, right now we are thinking about that very heavily, and we are working doably with the politicians on legislation to forbid the throwing the food. But also, we are working on a creating a cartoon for the kids with a that topic best before you know ugly food and all of that so right. we, we, they will, we will make a song and one minute song and kids will go home and start yeah. to singing to the parents hey don't throw don't waste yeah. you know and all of that so yeah. that's in the progress but still so first year we 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 will work as a non-formal group and uh, we actually didn't know each other so we just want to see if we can work together still all the group is together nine years later so in the second year we created a uh, society in a third year we get charitable status and uh fast forward from 20 families in a first year now we are feeding over 4500 people by weekly it's more than 750 families in 11 cities in uh, 27 distribution places which we are running and also we are helping over 15 other charities wait 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 uh, sorry sorry slow down slow down slow down slow down like that's like you're like oh 
I got all this stuff going on. <laughs> okay, so pretty wait, impressive. So eh? How many? So you went to you went to how many people are you feeding now? Now we are feeding four thousand five hundred by weekly. Thousand five hundred. Okay, That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So this and is how many cities are you across? 11, 11 cities. All Canada, though, right? Like we're all no, Canadian. no, no, no. We are working in a, a lower mainland right now. Oh, just in the lower mainland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, so let me let me read something for you. <clears throat> we are working also with the school district 40, uh, 44 and forty three. Which are and those? Provide, provide it's uh, schools. Which Regular. ones? Which districts are those? So North Vancouver is a okay. 40, is school district 44. So in North Vancouver, now we are providing food twice per week. And she said, uh, now uh, the vice principal uh, is uh, sending me uh, some statistic what, what they are doing with that food. So Wednesday delivery feeds Sutherland secondary school students. 140 students receive lunch that day, plus 250 students over the week. In addition, uh, food is brought to three elementary schools and feeding about 600 kids. We also feed three families with a two to three boxes. That's uh, Wednesday. Then Thursday, feed three schools, total 600 kids and 40 students additionally and 20 families. Uh, so in total, when I calculate all of that, only on North Shore is 1,970 and something kids. Every day they have a lunch and a breakfast. So you're... So there's two things going on here. You got the charitable side, the organization that I will explain. It. I will explain that. So okay. when we start to feeding over thousand people, mostly uh, we finance our good work at the beginning, but it becomes expensive. And my partner, he's a businessman. He run a business in Iran. He produced crankshaft for the Peugeot and uh, Hyundai, and and he sell his uh, company on a stock and move to Canada. So he told me, and I, my background is a social worker. I'm a sport teacher, and also I run a charity. I was running the charity in Serbia, working with the foster kids. Yeah. So yeah. we combine, and also the other people had other skills. So we combine the skills. And when we talk about, oh, now expenses are high because thousand people to feed every, it's not easy. And mostly he pay everything. So then he said, hey, you gotta let, we have two choices. One, to go around like this, and he showed me like this, and ask money, or we can make money and after that go and bring the money to others, not just to us. And that's how Soul Bite was born. From necessity to feed more people. That's it. And now, three years ago, COVID hitting. So 2020 in February is a uh, you know, ground to up show. We are getting a silver award for the new most outstanding product, Balkan mushroom. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, in March, all the doors are closed. Right. Whole one year is gone and we are still startup. So now 2021, we are slowly but surely coming inside of the stores. But still, you cannot offer any sample 2022. No. Now we are coming to 2023 and Jesus Christ, how all of that is slow, how all of that is just killing us totally. Whew. And the most frustrating thing, yes, we are selling in a Whole Foods. Okay, great. But you wait one whole year. And I remember in that three hour, it was mentioned, guys, if you're missing that, you will wait now. Yeah. 18 months. So we were approved like in January and they told us you are starting in October. <laughs> like, ah, no. So long. Yes, yeah, so long. So, and mostly I, I was not in a food business. My partner was not in a food business. So everything for us is just discovery. Right. Great challenges but at the end is always that ultimate idea create the profit and give 51 percent of your profit back to community so that is also one a new example which we would like to see everywhere because not, neither one company cannot be successful neither one without support of community you can have brilliant product if, if no one is buying you are just lunatic with with some stupid thing but right. if society is supporting you now you should give it back. That's our mentality. I mean, I'm not saying that someone will need third yacht because, you know, like I need that third yacht. But for us, we would like to give example that society is the more important than you. Right. You, you're going to have to come back to do a full podcast. I know, we're going to do a podcast. 
this is supposed to be the short version. Yeah. So, so okay. So I, I just want to make sure because I want to make sure that because you're doing some amazing things. Thank and you. I think I want to make sure that people know what they're looking for. So um, Soul Bites is the name of the company. You're going to be at Launchpad. You're pitching to win. I don't know how. Good thing I'm not a judge because all of you brands are like, Phew, this mm -hmm. year. So good luck, judges. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Um, but uh, okay, so you're gonna be you're gonna be at Launchpad. You're gonna be pitching um, for the war, and then where? So, what do you want from CHFA? Like, so from the show, are you looking for more retailers? You're looking for distributor distributors, partners? brokers. What, what so we have brokers. We have a broker. We yeah. have distributor. Okay. Now we are just need more buyers, more more, uh, more retail. Retail, yes, and. You one of the lessons you must find the stream, your selling stream. It doesn't mean that if you are in a stores, that's the best profile for you. So right now I'm thinking that because really our food is healthy and nutritious. Really, really. It's so I'm thinking that uh, now I'm pushing forward to go to health industry. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's my goal right now. You got lots of plays in this one, my friend. It's it's a good product for normal retail. Because it's very tasty. And quite frankly, if anybody's worried about it being healthy and not tasting good, get over it. It's really good. Mm, like it really you. is a really wonderful product. Mm. Um, so I think you're gonna work well in conventional. You'd work well in natural health, obviously. I think it's, you know, it's making sure that your pricing's in line and all that fun stuff, right? I think the other thing um, might be interesting is even a food service play. Because your stuff is easy. Like if it came in a bag of 20, how hard is it for a restaurant who doesn't have a lot of staff or the expertise mm -hmm. to make those to warm them up? It's a wonderful product. Mm -hmm. We are selling through through some coffee shops and also Choices Market has in Delhi. Okay. So there are people in the show that, that mm -hmm. have that as well. Lots of these retailers have delis and maybe small cafes, et cetera. So keep your eyes open for that too. Um, so, yeah. so if you're listening or watching this and you're coming to Launchpad or not coming to Launchpad, um this has a multi-use purpose yeah. and you're also doing society some good by doing this well get, yeah okay. the kickback half, okay. half the profits go back okay so so where um at the show where do they do you know your booth number at all or no mm, no not no okay yeah. I'll, I'll find it so i'll i'll drop it in the link below you guys um you gotta you gotta come see you gotta come see this one i am um we try and keep these really short, so I, I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna say thank you, but holy shit, man, you gotta come back for a full podcast. Like I have so many questions. Like I knew you would. I told you. I am I done told you. here. Yeah, I'm trying to be disciplined about getting the because we gotta get this one out. Um, you know, it's it's Thursday. I want to make sure it gets out before the weekend, so you get so people can see this before they get to the right. show, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm happy. <laughs> to share the story yes, man yes you gotta come back the product, by the way i'm charity director so now you you know the reason why i'm super passionate to say and i'm salesperson in a soul bite <laughs> so. and that's all good and i'll tell you what, you're on the podcast if you want to bring your partner on your yep. uh your, yeah, yeah, partner, like your financial partner up to you, yeah, whatever you like, yeah, because yeah. the story is a good story and i think it is important that yeah. i think we really need to we we when you watch the news every day and we're in one of the richest countries in the world the amount of food we waste in one of the richest countries and in the amount of people that can't eat in one of the richest countries is embarrassing mm -hmm. it's it sinful is. it really is sinful mm -hmm. but, but, it needs um, to be better so i think what you guys are doing is a small step but it's a bloody good step and you should be proud of yourselves and I'm, and we're proud that you're in our country doing this yeah I'm proud on a theme. We have over 350 volunteers. This is volunteer. That's incredible. That's incredible. So it's not expensive for the government at all. You know, only a handful of people, five employees, and running everything like. Well, the beautiful, beautiful thing of this, Igor, really has got nothing even to do with government at that point because we're buying the product, we're enjoying the product, and then you're kicking back. It's really, yeah. it's really the way it should be done, as opposed to be taxing everybody to death. You got a good product. We'll eat it happily, and you also, but you have old models that are failing as well, right? So, you, like, so Kenny and I've, um, we've, we've had a couple of food banks on the show, and they are in in a spot that you are helping with, right? Because they're talking about record levels of people who 
work full-time jobs, who have mortgages and everything. And like, they could feed families, right? Like that's, it was just so shocking to me how many people cannot. And so I think what you're doing is this, there's a new model maybe um, that, you know, people need to follow a bit of your example too, is like, here's how we could, you know, because these guys are, the food banks are all government funded and then they're kind of like vendor supplemented right with donations and stuff but really what we need to do is figure out one why we're in a country that we can't feed everybody and then two is like for people you know for for companies to do what you're doing i think is amazing right and there's not enough of you so um so thank you for doing this um if people want to find the product what uh website socials where yeah, website on website are listed all the 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 stores where they can find and we are selling i think in three provinces right now Yep. Okay. And so and the if they website, want to get a hold of you. Um, yeah, if they want to get a hold of, like, if they want to contact you, how do they? Don't LinkedIn? give us number. Everything is on a on a website, and yes, okay. LinkedIn. Okay. They can find me through LinkedIn, uh, okay. or our website, or they can contact us through Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Where it's, the they find the store by, pardon me. What's the What's the website? Is it soulbites.com.ca dot uh, ca or soulbitesfood.ca? Yeah. Soulbites uh, no, not, not com, I think. Are you dot com? Oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. So soulbitefood.com is, okay. is where you're at. Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll put I'll stick all the <laughs> yeah. I got you, man. I got you. No worries. Um, I will put all the links down below and then we will we will see you at CHFA. And we'll see you we'll see a launch pad out of the show. Yeah. I'm both. happy for both things and I'm happy to share and I'm mostly actually I'm happy to know you guys I'm happy that you are willing to share your knowledge that's really blessing for everyone who are seeking the star you are just shading the light to that star so thank you so much for that I appreciate that that's very kind of you yeah we're, we very appreciate kind. it um thank you so much we'll, we'll see you at the show see you hey my okay. friend we'll chat with you next week Phil you stick around you're going enjoy your day go make some money to give up to give back let's make money <laughs> make show me the money okay so picture that at 7 40 in the morning oh with his God. partner <laughs> and he's got that energy and i just literally practically crawled out of bed and then you know and then i did have like i had four of them I like, so I I'm trying to it's not your face I'm trying to imagine I'm trying to imagine poor Amelia's face. Oh, Amelia's pissing herself in the background. She goes. He's oh, like, God, what, what was have that? You brought to our house? Like, what is wrong with well, you? <laughs> I know. Well, it's funny, and then I I sat there and I thought, yeah, all, all right, that's just cool. And she's going, holy shit, what kind of energy is that? I said, I know. Yeah. But super passionate, right? And I just really, you know, I'll tell you what, it's funny. So if people are, if hopefully people are still stuck around, one of the things he was saying, well, I don't know if we should talk about sort of the social enterprise part. I said, oh my God, Igor. Like that's to me in a large part, outside of the fact you made a really amazing product, that to me is, is fabulous. Yeah. It's such a wonderful thing that yeah. a lot of these companies like Mara's company, you know, working with autistic children to help pack, like he's just really good. Like it really is, and this is to feed people. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Super impressed. Super impressed. Anyway, this is twenty five minutes long. Nobody's going to be listening otherwise. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs>